Hey guys, Bob here from Bob's World. Today we're looking at the Hummingbird, the new Hummingbird uh, Tiny Whoop V3.1 Race Spec Drone. Okay, so um, you can see behind me there's some flying. I did a little flying yesterday. It's a little too windy right now today. And we'll talk a little about wind and this baby here in a minute. Um, but you can see I was you know, getting used to this thing. But let me share my initial thoughts. I did probably, I don't know, about 15 packs on it. And uh, I had a blast. First of all, overall, I had a blast. Uh, but this thing uh, is a new experience for me because I've got the other tiny whoops. But one thing that's unique about this, for me at least, in my this in my journey here with tiny whoops, this thing is light. Okay, this thing, I and mean, you could feel this thing like weighs nothing. Uh, this is the lightest tiny whoop I have. Um, it, uh, I think, I think it's below 17 grams or right around that. Yeah, it's below 16 point something. Um, don't quote me on it, quote me on it, but it's light, super light. Um, and why does that matter? Well, a couple things. You can see what I'm flying here. One thing I had to get used to, and I'm still having to get used to, is because it's so light and the motors are powerful, throttle control you give this thing a little bit of gas and it's from here to boop it's gone i mean uh and it and it floats you know it it, it has much more of a floaty light feel and is much more affected by the wind if you're outside than my other tiny whoops that are heavier and i definitely see this definitely more as an indoor ripper in the house, the garage, or at a race or whatever. I'm thinking once I get kind of more used to this, this will be the one I use for the race here on November 8th, I think. Um, we'll see. Um, or I'm going to go with the with the eco setup. I don't know yet. That, it depends on what I'm more comfortable with, right? This thing moves, man. <laughs> if you're new to Tiny Whoops, I don't know uh, if I'd start off with this one uh, because of its lightness and its speed. Um, Hold on, man. This thing moves. And I've got the camera setting, like, it's on the lowest angle, but it's still cooking. I can't even imagine if I pumped this thing up and got more of an angle how fast this thing would go. Um, now, the cool thing with this is if you do a little freestyle, you know, power loop or whatever you're doing, it, it's so easy to recover with this drone because it's so light. Um, and there's, and the, the th power to weight ratio is so good that unlike the other whoops where you're really having to worry about bottoming out, not having the power at the bottom, uh, you, uh, sorry, I don't know if you guys can see the smoke in there, but it's from a, burning some incense. I was been ripping some big farts in here, so I'm trying to make it smell better in case, uh, in case my wife comes in here. Um, but it just has so much power compared to the weight that's not even an issue. So I didn't do a lot of freestyle with it, but I'm definitely going to try some more. Uh, what was cool too is flight times. And this is not going to sound like a big deal, but you guys know who, if you fly tiny whoops, it is. Like my other drones, I'm getting like a minute and a half, maybe two if I push it. This thing, I was getting like three minutes plus. Because uh, I think it's just so light. And I mean, it wasn't pushing it crazy, but. I felt like I was flying so long compared to the other tiny whoops. And I'm obviously, I think it's because of the lightness and the way it's set up. Uh, but that was kind of cool. That was kind of fun. Um, durability, I crashed it already. I ran into some shit and I thought it was a goner, but it wasn't. Uh, I did look at some other videos. They got some good stuff on tinywhoop.com or on their YouTube channel. Some other guy posted something about adding some, uh, and you can get it. Where is it? Where's my foam out here? I put it somewhere. Hold on, guys. I want to show you this. So in your motor boxes, like this, this is actually a camera box for the pinch cam, but they got this compressed, uh, whatever they call it, something, this, this foam, it's really compressed. You can put a piece behind the camera, I don't know if this will focus on it, but behind the camera up in here, because this is squishy. I mean, it's squishy. So you put a piece behind there so if it comes down, it's not hitting your VTX and taking it out of service. Uh, one thing I don't like, I'm going to change out. I can't stand these connectors uh, right here. And I already forget the name of it. But they make it so hard. It's so... It, 
barely fits the, to the back of the battery. When it's in there, I should grab a battery, but yeah, let me grab a battery, I'll show you. I got some batteries over here that are charging. Um, okay, so, you know, when you go to put the battery in, so I got the battery, it, one, it's really loose. And, you know, and I don't know why they why that happens with these. The the battery trays are some of these are so loose that the battery slides around, especially if you're flying aggressively and you're doing freestyle and that, and you can feel it when it slides, like it throws you off. So what I do is I, I inside the tray sometimes I'll add it's a real thin piece of tape in there. Um, just provide a little more uh, snug feel, and I like that better. But see, what I'll show you when when you get that battery in there, right? It barely, I mean, you can barely get this thing on, um, on there. It's, and it's kind of a bitch. And the other thing I don't like is it's really hard to get off once it's on there. And I always end up pulling this pigtail usually apart or off of one of the solders. Um, so I'll change that out with a 2.0 connector um, with a reverse tail on it. I like those better. Even if it maybe is a little heavier, I like those better. So that's one thing I definitely will do. Um, but overall, guys, uh, for the price, I can't remember, 80, 90 bucks, whatever it was, um, if you want something that rips, that's super light, that's fast, that's twitchy, this thing's a beast. <laughs> So, uh, I'll do some more flying with it. If you got any questions, post below. Uh, this is an uh, initial review from someone who just has fun flying drones. I'm not a pro. Um, I don't take it too seriously. And it's more just uh, my perspective from a uh, middle average pilot having fun with drones. Uh, but do I think it's worth it? Yeah. If you like Tiny Whoops, I think this thing's worth it. Uh, the price point's really low. Uh, and again, the lightness of this. I mean, like if I had a bigger indoor space to fly, which I'm, I gotta find, this would freaking be epic indoor, like a big gym or something like that, uh, warehouse, something like that. This thing would, would be epic. All right, guys, thanks for the subs, likes, all that stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying flying uh, your FPV adventure, and uh, I appreciate the comments. And um, if you got any questions about this thing, like I said, post them below, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, more footage to come of this drone. And I cannot wait till November 8th. The, I'm looking at the uh, multi-GP site. Uh, for the race. There's like 17 people now going to this thing. So it's going to be rocking. And uh, I cannot wait for that event. It's going to be a ton of fun. Cheers, peace. Have an awesome day.